Well, that question was posed earlier on, when, when did the cinema change? This is still here, a different function, but the building is still here. And I, I hope in the future that it, it won't change. The function might change, but as long as the deco and the building stands, fine. I don't think there's going to be any change. Yeah, but like for a little kid that's, I don't know, wants to be an engine driver, if his father's an engine driver, he gets a chance to stand on the footplate. But you could go watch the film and then go backstage, couldn't you, and have a look at the projection room and see what, what was doing, see how it happened. That's right, yeah. What's it like then up there, man? Fascinating. I used to thread the machines through, through, the, through the, what they called the gate. The projectors were going, and in those days, you used to have a carbon arc. You used to look in the side of the projector, and there's two little marks, and you had to keep this. Now, I was allowed to do this. <laughs> little, little, little knobs to keep this exact distance. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, in those days, you could look through the, the glass and at the screen, as the one reel was going to the end, the little dots appeared. Now we used to start the other machine up. So you didn't just see the film for free then, you had to do a bit of work. Actually, it put me in good stead because later on, when, when I was working overseas, uh, they had films to show. I was the only guy who could work one of these old projectors, so I, got, I was chief projector. Of course, these days it's, it's not a new cinema, it's uh, a cinema that gives people an alternative to what the main big cinema chains with their multi screens are showing. It'll show films that are unusual, perhaps have subtitles, or maybe films that you've not had the chance before to see on the big screen.